down, I think. Again? Yep. Got him. Got him. Got him. Smoke that something. You might have got the female on there. Did I hit him that time? Hold on. Hold on, dude. Hopefully there's two dogs laying in the ditch. You ran the old ripper out of the shelves. Where'd that big one ever go? I've never seen it. Must have cut back across. <laughs> Got a pile of shells, that's all I know. <laughs> what do you got? Six shells. <laughs> Finally made it happen. I wanted to try this farm for all winter, but it's been corn since we just finally got it off uh, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Been getting cell cam pictures all the time down in this ditch. I mean, cell cam's 30 yards up here, and I got a picture last night at one, of one at four o'clock. And I don't know. Yeah, I didn't actually when we walked in here. Uh, they were howling already, so we kind of didn't set up exactly how we want. The wind wasn't the greatest, but it, it worked out. I think it was probably six minutes in the call and they come, yeah. you said, here they come. And I thought there's just two and the two got to the edge of the woods. And here's a third one trailing. And that ended up being the second dog I shot. Yeah, I think so. The third so. one. I don't know wherever that third one went. I lost track. It's easy to lose track of them in the viewfinder right. of that camera, but. And I'm looking through a scope trying to figure out which way to go and which one to shoot at. Yeah. We sat there a while calling, you know, maybe try to get that third one to come back out, but it never showed up. And then I realized that I didn't turn the mic on the, on the main camera, so hopefully we can use the GoPro audio and get this video out to you guys. All right. We'll have to see what that's like or maybe, but, you know, maybe we can't do nothing at all, but... That's what happens when you get a part-time gunner in there and a part-time camera. Well, the Trent's got his own camera, so Cody's, I'm used to just powering the camera on and everything powers up, ready to go. Trent's has got a separate switch for the mic, and I just wasn't thinking. It was kind of a rush when we got in here because they were howling. Right. And we, I mean, we got out of the truck and there's one up by the house howling across the road and barking at us, must have seen us pull in and didn't yeah. like us or something. Totally separate end of the ridge here, so that... There was four coyotes here to begin with, but right. but I guess we got them both down anyways. Not one, I mean, probably 35, 40 pounds. 
The big one? Yeah, this big one here, was that the first one? Yeah. That was the first one you shot. That's 40 pound coyote for sure. And I don't know what that third, I never got a good look at that third one. No. But and two males, both males. Both frontal shots. Lucky to get that second one. <laughs> that's how that's far it was. sucker. That was 200 yards, 220 yards, but I could see him in that viewfinder, the camera. He jumped, looked like three or four right. feet in the air, so I knew you touched him. So, but anyways, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching and subscribing and hit the like button. It all helps. Hopefully, we get some more down to you here. Nice shooting. Thanks.